2023 Jeep Compass Review, a new engine completes the package. The compact crossover segment is one of the busiest in the USA, with enticing new options arriving on a regular basis. To face these challengers, Jeep has given its second-generation Compass a comprehensive facelift for the 2022 model year. There was no change to the mechanical bits, but that oversight change came in for retention for the 2023 model year, thanks to a new turbocharged powertrain. The new unit is a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder producing 200 horsepower, up from the old 2.4-liter Tigus Hark's 177 horsepower, with 221 lbft of torque, up from 172 lbft of power is sent into a new 8-speed automatic transmission before being distributed to all four wheels. This gives the 2023 Jeep Compass the performance boost it's needed all along. Built on the Stellantis FCA small wide LWB 4x4 platform, elements of which are shared with the smaller Renegade and larger Cherokee, the Jeep Compass has serious competitors in the Volkswagen Tiguan, Mazda CX-50, and Ford Bronco Sport. But, with its attractive new face, nicer interior, and vastly improved mechanical parts, the Compass has a better chance than ever of stealing at least some of their lunch money. 2023 Jeep Compass Changes What's the difference versus the 2022 Compass? Seeing as the 2022 model year already gave the Compass a fresher look inside and out, the main changes for 2023 involved the new drivetrain and the discontinuation of the FWD variants. A new 2.0-liter turbocharged inline-4 makes 200 horsepower and 221 lbft of torque for all four wheels. Specification levels on the new Jeep Compass crossover SUV are also improved slightly, with the safety gear getting a light upgrade. Drowsy driver detection, a rear seat reminder, and a security alarm are all standard equipment, while all trim levels, bar the entry-level Sport, feature automatic high beams. Sport and Latitude models get new 17-inch wheels. Pros and Cons Lots of up-to-date technology available. Good off-road, when specified appropriately. New turbo engine is a huge improvement. Standard AWD on all trims. Many of those modern technologies are only available as options. Limited cabin space for the price. Small cargo volume. Quite expensive in the higher trim levels. 2023 Jeep Compass Handling and Driving Impressions. The driving experience in the 2023 Jeep Compass has been transformed by the arrival of the new turbo engine. Gone is the old 9-speed automatic gearbox's hyperactivity, replaced by a much better behaved 8-speed automatic. There's no more need to chase the revs, either, because the boosted engine delivers a lot more torque than the old 2.4-liter, and does so at lower engine speeds as well. The end result is a smooth and responsive powertrain that feels livelier and a lot more refined. Handling-wise, the 2023 Compass offers a driving experience much like any other compact crossover SUV, secure and stable, but not very communicative via, admittedly, decently weighted steering or the seat of the driver's pants. There's commendably little body roll, but pushing too hard in corners sees safe understeer occurring along with stability control intervention. This likely won't bother most drivers, because vehicles like this are seldom bought for their sprightly driving dynamics, but those looking for dynamic thrills beyond the new engine may be disappointed. Verdict, is the 2023 Jeep Compass a good SUV? The Jeep Compass has finally morphed into the compact crossover SUV it was meant to be all along, thanks to the attention lavished on it six years into its production run. In many ways, it's not an exceptional vehicle, but neither are most contenders in this segment. However, with the new 2.0-liter turbo engine, refreshed exterior and improved interior, there is now lots more to like about it. The Jeep Compass also received a good safety review from the IIHS, and has a consistently reliable reputation with very few recalls. We're not sure it's the best in this segment, but you should definitely add it to your shortlist. 2023 Compass Exterior Last year's updates made the Compass much more appealing, and Jeep knows that consumers shop with their hearts just as much as with their heads. Emotive styling can do a lot to sell people on a new car, and often helps them overlook its failings. 
The front fascia leaves a lasting first impression thanks to the 7-slot grille with rings in gloss black, silver, gray, or chrome, depending on the trim. Flanking this, you'll find slim LED reflector headlights, though to get the fog lamps, you have to upgrade to the latitude. You can tell each trim apart since each gets its own unique exterior elements. Altitude models get a two-tone exterior with a gloss black roof, the Limited has gloss black trimming around the grille, while the off-roading Trailhawk gets an earthier gray tone. The Trailhawk also sports a signature red and black hood decal. The Sport, Latitude, and Trailhawk ride on 17-inch wheels, the Altitude, Latitude Lux, and Limited on 18ths, and the top-tier high altitude gets very bold 19-inch alloys. The top model also comes standard with a dual-pane panoramic sunroof, which has to be optioned on to the lower trims. The special, red, edition comes with 19-inch granite wheels, red paint, and neutral gray exterior trim. Dimensions the Jeep Compass is a small but rugged crossover, and its dimensions are a little smaller than its competitors. The wheelbase is 103.8 inches long, and overall length is 173.4 inches. With the mirrors folded, width measures 73.8 inches, and the crossover stands 64.6 inches tall. The available roof rails add 0.2 inches of height. Ground clearance with the front-wheel drivetrain is 7.7 .7 inches, and 8.1 inches with the 4x4. The Trailhawk gets even more ground clearance at 8.5 inches, which empowers its off-roading abilities. This gives the trail-rated compass Trailhawk approach slash breakover slash departure angles of 30.4 slash 23.6 slash 34 degrees. Curb weight varies between trims and drivetrain, starting at 3,184 pounds, and maxing out at 3,633 pounds. The Jeep Compass range encompasses eight trim levels, Sport, Latitude, Altitude, Latitude Lux, Limited, Red, Special Edition, High Altitude, and Trailhawk. All variants feature the same engine and transmission, a 2.0-liter turbo four-cylinder matched with an eight-speed automatic gearbox. Its outputs of 200 horsepower and 221 lbft of torque are then sent to all four wheels. The standard equipment list is quite comprehensive, with the entry-level Sport receiving 17-inch alloy wheels, LED headlights, a rear-view camera, heated exterior mirrors, cloth upholstery, manual air conditioning, and an infotainment system with a 10.1-inch color touchscreen with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and six speakers. Higher trim compasses add more luxury and convenience features, including 18-inch wheels, leather upholstery of either the synthetic or genuine types, a hands-free power liftgate, keyless entry with push-button start, remote engine start, a heated steering wheel, power adjustment for the driver's seat, and dual-zone climate control. The safety specifications are good as well, although not everything is standard on all models. The base trim sport has forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking, lane departure mitigation, blind spot monitor with cross-traffic alert, driver attention warning, and rear seat reminder, with the latter two added for 2023. Higher trim models add parking sensors at the front and or rear, while automated parking, surround view cameras, and adaptive cruise control are only available as part of bundled option packs. What's the price of the 2023 Jeep Compass? The price of the Jeep Compass is quite competitive for the segment. The base sport goes for just $29,995, with the Latitude asking for $32,790. The Latitude Lux starts at $34,190, while the Altitude is just a smidge more at $34,585. Limited models have an MSRP of $35,495, the Trailhawk goes for $36,240, and the Red, for $37,935. At the top of the range, a high altitude is priced from $38,835. These prices exclude the $1,595 destination charge in the USA. 2023 Compass Performance a new powertrain makes more impressive specs than the outgoing 177 horsepower unit. A turbo four engine now puts out 200 horsepower and 221 lbft. Off-road specs are excellent too, thanks to the standard 4x4 drivetrain and off-road suspension on the Trailhawk. 
It also gets Jeep Active Drive Low with a 20 to 1 crawl ratio. The setup on the Sport, Latitude, and Limited isn't quite so capable, but it is fully automatic, which makes it ideal for more casual off-roaders. Both systems can route all of the engine's power to the rear wheels to improve grip and traction when it is most needed. Jeep doesn't want to embarrass itself, so you won't find a claimed 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint time anywhere, but independent testing reveals that you'll need over 9 seconds for the benchmark sprint. Fuel economy is more impressive, especially considering the cars the compass goes up against. The new engine doesn't improve on the 2,000 pounds towing capacity, however. Engine and transmission. The Compass only has one engine on offer this year, and it's an improvement over the 2.4-liter Tigus Hark four-cylinder from last year that made just 177 horsepower and 172 lbft. The new unit is a 2.0-liter turbo four with 200 horsepower and 221 lbft. There are no FWD models this year, and all models use an eight-speed automatic to send power to all four wheels. Performance is improved by a large margin, and the Jeep Compass should now get from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in around 8 seconds. This finally gives the sporty feeling suspension setup a reason to be as firm as it is, and even makes for more fluent driving dynamics thanks to the new engine's linear power delivery. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.